Volvo makes cars that are safe. We know this. Carfection's covered it. Previous incarnation X-Car has covered it. So we know about Volvo's propensity for saving your life, even if you don't drive a Volvo. However, there's more to Volvo than simply being safe. Way back when, Saab existed. Long before General Motors bought it, ruined it and shot it in the face, Saab made cool cars for nice people. They were stylish, unassuming and didn't boast about what they could do. They just did it. Sure, there were fast ones and racing ones and all that, but you could never accuse a Saab, especially in later years, of being gauche. The Germans provided cars for a wide range of people, but the problem was some of that wide range was very vocal about how much they loved their German car and how important it made them. As such, you probably wouldn't want them round for dinner. The Brits carried on with the usual British stuff, stiff upper lip and elegance and things like that, with varying degrees of success. But Saab, Saab was just nice. When Saab died, there was only one logical choice for the Saab people, Volvo. Similarly unshouty, wonderfully designed, and with the added bonus of being like driving a ball of cotton wool, a hug with wheels. So how comes that's the case then? What's the deal with Saab and Volvo being unpretentious and all round cuddly? Well... First up, there is absolutely no reason why Volvo should be going after the Germans. Going into a crowded marketplace and targeting a group or a company that makes it their job to do one thing really, really well is a stupid thing to do. It's a foolhardy enterprise. And if you think about the Geneva Motor Show, the last 10, 15 years, the number of supercar manufacturers that have popped up and gone, we're going to be the next Ferrari, we're going to be the next Lamborghini, the next uh, Porsche, the next everyone. How many of them still exist? Pagani, just, they're, they're, they're existing, um, Apollo, um, Zenvo, it's kind of it really, isn't it? You see, Ferrari and co know the business of making supercars is immensely tough and you can't just set up a car company, cars are complicated things, so people fall by the wayside quickly. And in Volvo's case, why should it be looking at sporty when no one else is looking at comfy? There's no part of this XC60 that makes you think of sport, not even golf. You don't find yourself drawn to lines inspired by Le Mans victories or a snarling powertrain that'll stretch the rev counter. It's just nice. But why? Why are the Swedish so nice? Well, I've been to Sweden twice, and the first time I was there to drive a Porsche, so didn't meet any Swedish people, and the second time I was on my way back from the Arctic Circle and was so knackered I went to sleep and so didn't meet any Swedish people. I don't know any Swedish people, so I can't ask them either. So I did what any sensible person would do and turned to the most useful resource on the planet, the internet. After I'd waded through the horrifyingly large amount of pornography, I found huge swathes of information about Sweden and the Swedes. Lagom, for example, means just the right amount, or moderation. It's a huge concept over there, and to achieve it is a good thing. The Swedes are concise and don't waste words where they're not needed. Why throw unnecessary guff in there when you don't even need to bother with it in the first place? July in Sweden, everything just stops. It's the best month of the year, after all. It's the peak of the summer. So that's when the Swedes take their time off. They enjoy it, which is just a wonderful thing to do. Enjoy the best month of the year. Informality is king over there, so you can address people in authority, important people, by their first name, and they'll address you similarly. Because, well, why not? The Daily Fika is it's kind of a sacred thing, not actually sacred, it's not a religious thing, but it's a moment out of your day to have a cup of coffee and a bit of cake to catch up with friends and family, to take a break, to be sociable. And the Swedes are amazingly environmentally conscious, but when your country looks like Sweden, that's not a surprise. There is, of course, more, but did you notice a theme with all that stuff? No nonsense. There's no extraneous silliness. They take time to relax and they're all a bit green. All of a sudden, this sport-free, relaxing, eco-conscious Volvo makes more and more sense. It doesn't need to be sporty, so it isn't. It just gets on with the business of being relaxing, comfortable, green transport. 
out. It's quiet enough in there that you can easily catch up with family and friends on the fly. So why then is it for nice people? Well, that's easy. They don't sweat the small stuff and they just kind of get on with things. A bit like the Swedes. <laughs>